Hello everyone, this is M bringing you another RenPy tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to go over control flow, which is how you move things around in the code and how you, or how you, rather you make the game move around in the code. And basically what you do, how you decide what to do when. So I've got my basic script here. I deleted a little bit of the stuff, but we don't need it. So we can just do that. Um, and I have an empty file called prolog.rpy. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the menu. If we look at the documentation for menus, it says we say menu and then we indent. This is very important for most coding in RenPy. Whenever you're going to have a block of code that's part that belongs to something else, you'll be indenting. And the when you tell that the indentation is over is when you unindent afterwards, basically. So let's say menu do you want to go? And this is the question that will show up with it. And here are the options. The beach. And there I'm making another block. So it's indented again. And then for the beach, Eileen will say, you went to the beach. It's hot. Then we unindent for the end of that one. And here we do the next one. The mountains. You went to the mountains. It's pleasantly cool. And then we unindent again for the last one. And you can make as many of these options as you want, um, but I'm going to just go with three inside. And we're going to say, Eileen is going to say, you went home. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do something called a jump. Home. Jump home. So normally when we have return here, that's the end of the game, right? So before... So we need to make a, a place for us to go that'll still have this return at the end. So I'm going to make a label home right here. This is where we jump to afterwards. And I'll say, Eileen says, as soon as you get home, you go or let's say when you get home, you immediately go to go to sleep. Now, if I run it right now, let's see what happens. It says, hello world. We already have that. Where do you want to go? So this is my, how the menu looks for the default. GUI. It will look different if you customize it. So you could say the beach, you went to the beach, it's hot. And if I go to the mountains, I go to the mountains, it's pleasantly cool. When we still have this, when you get home, you immediately go to sleep then. And if I go inside, say she says you went home and there we go. Now, what if I want to say that something else after here because what's happening right now is we're finishing the menu and then we're going to wherever is next which is the label home so this jump home seems kind of pointless because we're going there next anyway but what if i put something in here i'll have eileen say you enjoyed if i can spell yourself immensely Now, if I run this, if I go to the beach, 
You enjoyed yourself immensely. Then you go home. If I go home, it says you went home, and then it just says you go to sleep. It didn't say you enjoyed yourself. So that's how what the power of jumps is, that you can have some optional uh, story. Let's have another menu here. What was the favorite thing or your favorite thing you did? Option one is swimming. But hold on. If you went to the mountains, then how the heck did you go swimming? So what we need to do is we need to have this display only if we went to the beach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up here, I'm going to define a variable. Default defines a variable that um, is, yeah, default defines a variable. Uh, it has some neat properties too, but you don't need to worry about those right now. I'm going to call it beach equals false because at the beginning we haven't gone to the beach yet. But if I say when we went to the beach here, I'll say beach equals true. And you do need this little dollar sign here. That basically tells it to ex execute like Python. So right here I'll say swimming if beach. Then Eileen will say you took a nice long swim. Then on the next one we'll say walking and you can walk on the beach or in the mountains, so that's fine. Took a relaxing walk. And then talking with friends. Eileen will say, you had fun hanging out with friends. And Let's see how that looks. All right, so if we go to the beach, we went to the beach, it's hot. You enjoyed yourself immensely. What was your favorite thing you did? There's swimming. I know I can choose something else, but if I did the mountains, I couldn't go swimming. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to say I went to the mountains. What was your favorite thing you did? There's no swimming here. So I'm going to say talking with friends. You had fun hanging out with friends. And then I'm done. So you can control which menu options are seen when by using conditionals. And this conditional thing is basically saying if something if then some expression that evaluates to either true or false. If it evaluates to true, then we can do it, then we can show it. If not, then we don't show it. Okay. And there's another way you can use if right here. And um, it doesn't have to be inside a menu. You can just have an if, if beach right here. And Eileen says, you still have sand in your shoes. So let's run that. So let's say I went to the beach. I went walking. You still have sand in your shoes. Let's try it again. Let's go inside. We skip the entire second menu and go to sleep. Let's go to the mountains. We do talking with friends and we don't have sand in our shoes because the mountains don't really have sand. So that's how jumping and if statements conditionals work. But there's also another kind of control flow which is called calling. And to do that, I'm gonna make a prologue. I'm going to make another label and this can, you can jump to labels 
or call to labels in totally different files. Like I said before, RenPy will like compile it all into one. So you don't have to worry about whether it knows about the other file or not. This is however you want to organize it is fine. So label prolog. Hi, this is a random prolog. I'm going to ramble for hours now. Or not. And then return. Now, this return is very interesting right now. If I say right here, if I say jump prolog, what do you think will happen? Let's find out. I'll say hello world. Hi, this is a random prologue. We went, I'm going to ramble for hours now or not. And then we're done. We didn't even do any of the other stuff afterwards. It's because this return, the first time it sees this return, it's going to be done with the game. This return right here. So this is one way you can have multiple endings that will just have this return going on but if we don't want to return end the game when we're done we can instead say call prologue and what happens then is when you return from the prologue hi we return to where we were before and resume our normal execution and then we have the rest of the stuff going. Now, you can do calling however many deep you want. So I can make another thing here called label prolog inner. This is the inner prolog that got called return and let's say we'll say call prologue inner here and this will go and it will do the label prologue inner when it gets called and then it will go back and say I'm going to ramble for hours now Hello world, I have this random prologue, this is the inner prologue, I'm going to ramble for hours now, just like I said. And let's end it early. So if I had said jump instead, then this return would have been the first return we saw after the little calling the prologue. And therefore we would have returned to the script here after the first call. So you've got to make sure that depending on where you want to return, you use either jumps or calls. And that's pretty much it. You can use more uh, sophisticated control flow if you really want. Um, but this is what you need to make a basic visual novel with multiple endings and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And I hope you have fun with Run Pie.